Now the next equation I want to solve. In fact, it's a wave equation. Okay, but it's first order in time and first order in x. So uh, it can be written as superposition of many waves. It has exact solution for i. Okay, so that's the exact solution. Plug it in. Okay. Uh, so, if I want to solve it using finite difference, so again I do the time discretization like this. Now, this is a wave, so it is not a good idea to put zeros at the ends. No, is a good idea to put the wave will move, so zero will not remain zero. So, one important another boundary condition is called periodic boundary condition. So, since it is a wave just think that whatever the wave comes out comes back here. It is a very commonly used boundary condition uh, in numerics, but also in physics. So, if something is moving on a circle it is a periodic. So, there is a wave moving in a cylinder. So, that will be a periodic wave. So, you have to just think on those lines. Now, let us do the time stepping of this. So, again please remember that I have I here i plus 1 i minus 1 and so I am writing equation for one of the points, but I have n of this point. So, I need to write for all of them you have to be careful with the boundary condition only two things you have one important point is boundary condition you have to be careful. If you at the same point if you do from I mean periodic means this point is same as this point. So, you should not time step at both the points ok. Anyway let us try to write down uh, now equation for i. So, d psi i d t of c now I can use Euler scheme for this first order. So, I will write this as psi i minus psi i minus 1 by h ok. So, uh, or let us make a better accurate scheme psi i plus 1 minus i 2 h ok. So, this central difference so derivative at this point is psi i plus 1 minus i minus 1 by 2 h happy. Now, I time step so psi i n plus 1 is psi i n minus c psi i plus 1 n minus psi i minus 1 n by 2 h. Okay. So, this is Euler explicit scheme. Now, I am not sure whether I am communicating with you or not, but this is straightforward Euler explicit scheme uh, delta t. Delta t is has to be there. Okay. Now, given time, uh, given psi n, I can go to psi n plus one for every i. So that means I'm got the values at next time step. Then next time step, next time step, I can go from t equal to zero to t final. Now, question is: Is this scheme stable? Now, stability you'll find if you start solving it. You expect a wave, but you will not it is it wave will not come. Now, it is easy to check that this system is unstable. How do I check? I use the same idea. I try the function psi x t as f t x. I will look for f t. F t should not blow up or f t should not go plus minus plus minus. If I plug it in, so I will get, so shall I write the answer instead of doing the algebra. So, this part you can do it yourself and what comes out? So, 
so for n so i can write equation for f exactly what i did here this one this one so this equation comes out to be f n plus 1 Okay, so this is the equation for f. Now is f stable or unstable? Now you have to remember what we did for ODs. Is this solution stable? Yes or no? Yes? Yeah? Why not? So, modulus of this is greater than 1, exactly like what I was trying to solve in the last in one of the classes minus i pi z. This was unstable for Euler explicit. The ideas are very simple, ideas are identical uh, stuff, but here for f I get this, the mod of this is greater than 1, so it is unstable. So, you are expecting a sine wave, but it will you know, sine wave, but it will the wave amplitude will keep growing. It is a moving wave, no, I like moving wave, it will just keep growing. So, numerical scheme is not giving you the correct result. So, we need to try to find another scheme which overcomes this problem. Okay. So, that I will tell you in the next class. So, we will again focus on this equation. Uh, we will try to solve it, so that at least I get stability. Stability is critical, otherwise your solution is not well behaved. And then we will try to solve a, Berger, a fluid equation. Okay.